Flow surf. Experience in motion. When preparing a fast test using a field bus protocol positioner, you will need to gather the following tools. A foundation field bus interface for USB, available through national instruments, including the USB cabling and F11 field bus power hub, as well as the accompanying power cord supply, a Phillips screwdriver, and an air supply. The first step is to ensure that the valve has an appropriate air supply to the proper inlet on the positioner. Simply take the air supply and connect it as shown here and adjust it according to the required pressure. Next, remove the outer covers for the positioner as shown here. Make sure the single small bolt on each cover is loose so it does not hinder spinning the covers off. Locate your screwdriver in preparation for connecting the leads. In contrast with heart protocol positioners, the field bus positioner will look slightly different. The section under the larger cover will be laid out slightly differently and the area under the smaller cover will not be labeled due to the difference in how they are built and the fact that polarity is not a concern for the field bus positioners. To continue setting up the test, Connect the USB cable from the field bus interface to the computer. Next, plug in the power supply for the field bus power hub to both the wall socket and the hub. Then connect the leads from the USB field bus interface's module to the power supply signal pins under the positioner's smaller cover. Begin by loosening the connection screws, then install the field bus interface's leads to the positioner as shown here. In contrast to a heart modem, the field bus only requires the two leads to be connected. The signal and power are both transferred to the positioner through this single source. All that is left in the hardware setup of your fast test is to calibrate the positioner in the same way you calibrate a heart positioner. To do this, simply push the recal button under the larger cover of the positioner for more than three seconds and wait for the positioner to run its automatic calibration. Once the calibration is completed, you are ready to continue to running the FAST test.